the track a little bit. It's flat down here at the bottom. And our skater is a girl instead of a guy. So we're going to do the same thing here. What I'm going to ask you to do is right before I make each graph, I'm actually going to ask you to pause the video and on your notes page, draw what you think each graph will look like. So I'm going to let the girl skater go. The computer is going to draw her potential energy. What I want you to do is right now, pause the video and draw what you think her potential energy will look like. So if you didn't get that, come back. Hey, pay attention right here. Look at the screen. Pause the video and draw what you think her potential energy will look like. Do that now. Pause it right now. Pause it. All right, now that you've drawn what you think her potential energy will look like, let's see. Here we go. Okay, so notice, starts off high, um, should be about the same as earlier, unless she has a smaller mass, which uh, it kind of looks like she did. I think the guy's was up here, so she has a smaller mass than he did. Um, she goes down the ramp. Her potential energy decreases and then once she gets to zero it kind of levels off at zero and when she falls off the ramp we got a negative height so we start getting negative potential but decreases levels off at zero when we get negative height negative potential energy now we're gonna redo that with her kinetic energy so pause the video draw what you think her kinetic energy will look like right now pause it pause it I'm telling you pause it draw her kinetic energy what you think it will look like Now that you've drawn what you think her kinetic energy will look like, here we go. Okay, so starts out low. Um, should have started at zero, that's kind of weird. Um, starts out with zero kinetic energy. She increases her kinetic energy until she hits zero potential. Once she hits zero potential, her kinetic energy stays the same. We don't have friction, so she's not losing any to thermal energy. So she hits zero potential. She's got all kinetic, stays all kinetic. Then she goes off the ramp, so we got this bump. And she would actually gain more. Let's let her keep going so you can see this. As she keeps falling, she's going to speed up until she hits the ground, and then it should level off again. But the computer is not displaying what happens once she hits the ground. But kinetic energy goes up, and then once she gets to that zero part, kind of levels off. There we go. So now let's look at her total energy. You should be able to predict this. So pause the video. Draw what you think her total energy will look like. Here we go. So her total mechanical energy stays the same the whole time. You gotta remember, you've got buckets. She has a bucket full of energy up at the top that's potential, and a bucket down here at the bottom that's kinetic. But that whole time, the bucket size is the same. So her total energy, the amount in that bucket, is the same the whole time. Total energy stays the same the whole time. So now let's look at all of them at once, kinetic potential and total, just so you can see it happening. OK. So at any two points, even when she goes off the ramp, this is going to be kind of cool to see. At any two points, if you add her potential and kinetic, you should get the total. Even when she goes off the ramp, notice she then has ze or negative potential and kinetic above the total, but if you add them because this one's negative, you still get your total energy. So the rule applies always. You cannot create energy for a system. Um, it cannot have energy suddenly appear out of nowhere. So unless someone comes in and gives the system energy, it will stay the same. Even if something crazy happens, like you suddenly have a negative potential, your kinetic has to get bigger to compensate. So there you go. Um, I'll do this one with friction in there. And let me see if I can maybe turn up the friction. Yeah, let's have a bunch of friction so you can kind of see her slowing down as she goes. Here we go, lots of friction. Watch what happens. So notice her total stays the same, but now you have to add all three kinetic potential and thermal energy. So the fact the track heats up due to friction thermal energy, you got to add all three to get to that total. All right, one more, I think one more, and then we should be done.